Hello, everybody, and welcome to 95.7 The Talk. My name is Snaichi, and I am your host for tonight's episode. It is currently 8.42 p.m., and today we are going to be talking about artists to watch. Because I know SoundCloud did this with from, like, 2016 to 2020, and then they just kind of stopped with it. And so I kind of, you know, I want to just continue the trend of that and see where all these artists that I've been listening to end up in the future and see if they actually become mainstream. So first off, we got Little Soda Boy. So he has some. So- he has uh, two songs that I really love called "I'm So Alone, Lost" and um, "Helicopters." And um, there, and he's got quite the discography. So if you want to go check him out on YouTube and SoundCloud, you can. Um, I will probably link his link all the artists, um, SoundClouds, and YouTube pages down in the description um, when I am up uh, getting ready to upload this episode so just stay tuned for that and um, we will be getting underway with that episode with the, the, with this episode so okay next artist there are a lot of artists that I have not shared with you guys yet because they, I mean, they they uh, just haven't gotten their, you know, mainstream success yet. And I want to cover them in some of their songs. So next we got this dude named um, Ion Lil Gut, who has a song called High School, which uses like the same exact instrumental as Jumex's song Loner, and which that that's a good song. Shout out to Jumex, by the way. Um, so I'm like, we can. I I mean I'm not surpri- I'm like I'm surprised that they haven't you know copyright struck eye on little gut yet because he's using the uh, loner instrumental and uh, yeah because if we can go back on to um, if we go into YouTube and search up loner and then high school by eye on little gut we should probably be able to see each of the episode of each of the dates because um, the, uh, then we can determine which came out first and which and who used the instrumental first. So then that can um, ultimately determine who used it first. So I'm going to go on to YouTube right now and um, search up Loner by Jumex. So this came out February 14th, 2019. Then I, I on Little Gut High School um, April 26th Um, so Jumex used it first and then Ion Little Gut used it second so that means Jumex takes the cake so and also Jumex he has been doing like really well as an independent artist he just put a new song out um and I haven't listened to it yet, but it's really, it, it, I mean, from from what I've heard on, like, his Snap, because I uh, added him on Snap, and I, so that I can get all the music, so that I can get all the uh, song snip, uh, snippets, so then, um, 
so then I know what the song's going to obviously sound like when it's released. But sometimes it does change because they do uh, change some, some portions of the song before they release it. So there's that. Next um, artist I want to cover is a dude named Lil Snorlax. Okay, th th this dude is quite interesting because he's got a song called uh, Kawaii. And, uh, I mean, he's pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, the, the, song is, the song is fire. The song is fire. Um... So he's got Uwu, Manga, Bananas, which came out eight months ago. Um, and then Yeah. He also goes by Lil Roblox. I know all these rappers use Lil, the Lil prefix, which I think is just stupid and ridiculous. And, um, like, I dropped the Lil from my, from Lil Snitchy. So, then it's just, so then it was just Snitchy. And then, um, I was like, I'm never using Lil Snitchy again. I, and I know some people still call me Lil Snitchy. It's 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 freaking weird. Now, like I I've like moved on and evolved, and you guys are still calling me Lil Snitchy. Like, what the heck is that? Like, that's just a bunch of bull. So we have. Um, Ooh, uh, yeah, Ooh, Ooh is a fire song by Lil Snorlax, and also Manga, and, um, yeah, so go check him out, Lil Soda Boy, Eye on Lil Gut, Jumex, um, even Trash, Trash Vampire, he's got some bangers, he's got, um, Flirty, um, sick dude. That that song is dope. It's five minutes, and it is just like full blown EDM banger the whole time. I love that song. And then there's also Kid Trash. Like is is that gonna be like the new thing? Everyone's just naming their putting trash in their stage name. Like, um, and, uh, um, so so, um, he also goes by. Gosh, it was like Trash Ooh, Soda Boy Anime Girl IRL. And 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 then it's just, it, he was just like, and then he also went by uh, Sailor Nick. It's Trash Ooh, Soda Boy Anime Girl IRL. That's his, like, other name that he used before the Trash Vampire name, and, um, I kind of like it. I kind of, then I kind of got inspiration from that, so then I started calling myself Soda Punk Uwu Boy Online Website IRL. Or maybe, like, so, uh, soda punk uwu boy website on website online IRL because that kind of makes more sense in a sense. Yeah, look at that. Look at look at me making ironies. Um, but I just want to say that a lot of people 
don't understand that most of these artists that I talk about, like if, because then when I get into like Space Ghost, Perp, and Lil B, and Soldier Boy, those guys are actually responsible, and and Lil Wayne too, are responsible for all today's artists. Because if that if they never existed, if like Lil Wayne and Soldier Boy, Space Ghost, Perp, all if all of them never existed, then we wouldn't have all these weird, crazy hair colored artists, color whatever whatever artists t- in today's society. I'm gonna turn my mic up. There we go. Um, that's better. Ugh. So I'm like, if we didn't have those guys, we wouldn't have all the artists that we have today because they're responsible for a lot of this music. So, I just want to point out the fact that you need to start somewhere, like like a seed, like um when a seed, like when you see when you plant a seed, it'll grow into a tree and then it'll branch off in different directions. That's kind of how like rap rap music as a whole grows. You get one artist, you because you can get one artist to start a trend, then it'll branch off to other people in different um, directions and whatnot. And then that's how you... That's really how you get popular. You have to be a trendsetter sometimes. So so basically all, the, all this f- trill funk... Cloud, cloud rap, bumble rap, whatever you want to call it, had had like it obviously had to start with someone, not something, someone, and that someone, or someone's had to be a uh, Soldier Boy, Lil B, and Space Goes Perp, which I think are like the three main guys that created the sound. Um, but now back to the artist. So another artist that you really want to uh, look like just all the drill rappers, just like all like all these drill rappers that are coming out of New York, like um, Like all all of these drill rappers that are coming out of New York are just like making huge like huge hits and they're just doing numbers constantly. It's it, it's just crazy. So now I'm gonna go onto my SoundCloud and actually um, list off some artists that are watch worthy. Oh, and, well, and also I'm just seeing now on Instagram that there's going to be a seven star Intellian raid, which has the ice terror type and will run through a- April 28th through April 30th and then again May 5th through the 7th. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys on what you think about this Ice Terror type Intellion, um, which is amazing because in Sword and Shield it has a, a Gigantamax form. And um, now it's ha- it's getting a Terra form, that, a Terra type. That, that, that's cool that it can uh, terrestrialize now. So, with that being said, um, I I'm gonna I cannot wait to look forward to that. 
because that's just going to be so, so awesome. And right now, I'm going to try and go get the other seven star raid Pokemon. I, I was battling an Orthworm, and oh my gosh, that, that was hard. That was like low key hard. And, um, I battled that thing about, like, five times, and I still lost, even though I was using my Coridon, which obviously was fast, which had, which has pretty good speed, and it knows, um, Dragon Pulse, Outrage, Collision, collision Course, and Flavor Blitz. And I'm like, well, something's got to give on this Orthworm. Like, it's, like, insanely strong, and I bet you it's, like, level 85. I was like, no wonder I was having trouble battling it, because it's stupid six-star Orthworm is probably in the low 80s for the most part. Now I want to get back to the artists. So I'm going to go on my SoundCloud and I'm going to list off some of the people that I am, some of the artists that I'm following. So first up, we got Lung Skull. So Lung Skull is a artist that would be put under the subgenre of Roblox core. Which is kind of like if you're from if you guys are familiar with the whole nightcore genre, it's like sped up and um, high pitched vo high pitched auto tune vocals. So he has a song called "Me Me Too!" Exclamation exclamation point question mark. Um, foreign. Foreign's my favorite. And I've actually, um, I, I actually did find the instrumental, and I may rap over it, so, um, yeah, but I'm not going to release it just due to copyright issues, and I don't want to get into a bunch of stuff, you know, so I'm going to leave it at that. So, that, so that's, uh, Long Skull. Next artist, I want to, um, go over is Sig Carlito. Or if you don't know him as a 16-year-old, he is the dude that made Mo, Sheck West's Mo Bamba. And, yeah, I, I was like, wait, is, the, is, is that the same guy that made Mo Bamba? Because <laughs> I was like, t I was a little confused. So he has an unreleased song called Penguin. The instrumental of that song is so it's such a banger I mean like I would love to collab with someone over on that on that beat on that instrumental because I think my vocals would go pretty well it would go they would go along well with that so he has a song called Penguin theme song. Um, uh, I mean, he, he he's got a whole he he's got a whole entire discography of bangers. So um, yeah, I'm looking him up on my phone right now. So um, so then I can tell you what songs he has. So he has a song called Prada Bay, Obsessed, theme song, like I said earlier, Lego. Lego is a banger. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I had a yawn. So yeah, that, that's uh, Sig Carlito. And then... Um, Next artist on the list is uh, Use G's. Okay, Use G's 
He just put a new song out called Spank It. I don't know how to feel about this. But I'm just going to... And, and he's released a song called Cemetery, which is pretty far from the snippet I've heard. Freddie No Jason. Back door, bang, bang. Dougie Bop. I probably should be saying the, the titles of these songs because I might get, you know, might get shot. Um... Munch K. Okay. I just want to say Munch K is probably one of the dopest used G songs I've heard. Used G's, you are fire. Like 10 out of 10. That song goes hard. I'm probably going to, I'm going to have to mute that just due to copyright. So I don't get copyright strike because I don't want that. <laughs> um, okay, then Taking That Risk is another banger. Um, and then he also has... In my mood, African Demons on Haunts Part Two. P PSA is a banger because I'm gonna remix that into a song called "Ride On." So that's Use G's. Next up, we got y Rojas. This dude is responsible for uh, producing XXX Tentacion's song "Look at Me," which originally came out in 2015 and then re-released and went super viral in 2017. So it's technically been out for eight years. So it looks like he just reposted a Lil Mabu song. Also, Lil Mabu is an up and coming artist from New York, I believe. And um, he has some pretty good songs too. Like, go check him out on YouTube and SoundCloud. Um, next, we got uh, Diego Money, which. Um, Diego Money um, has a song called Jit. I love that song. That is like, it, it's it's like weird. Like, it's not like weird, weird. It's like kind of more laid back type of weird. Like the, the type of song that you would like listen to while like doing nothing. And why in the hell is there a spider crawling down the sp Ugh. My basement's full of cobwebs. If you guys didn't know, like it is full of spider webs. I'm starting to think we have a spider infestation. It's crazy. Like it's absolutely bonkers. There are like spider webs all over these wires, and it's like kind of it's a little concerning, to say the least. Yeah, I, yeah. D, um, Jit, which is produced by a stupid Zool, has uh, I mean, a couple hundred thousand views. Yeah, it, it it's a pretty it's a pretty dope song for the most part. <laughs> Ugh. I am tired. It is currently 9.06 p.m. Um, so the next song, I mean, actually, Kid Trash and Gore Core. Actually, I want to I, I want to cover Nas God for a second. I want to cover her for a sec. Um, she's got a song called Detergent and... Um, So I'm gonna go on to her SoundCloud. And um 
she has some dope bangers. Um, like this, which it's a, it's the L with the line through it, which is, I think, Swedish. But I'm going to have to mute that because of copyright. So just bear with me. Those are two of the songs that Detergent and Pretender are my two favorite uh, No Scove songs. Uh, oh, Bayonet Oakery. <laughs> That's another banger. So go check her out. Next next up, go check out Kid Trash. Um, so he has a song called Exotic. And um, I found that like during the pandemic. I found that song during the pandemic and it is so fire. Like it is so fire. Like it, it's the type of song that you would play through your aux cord in the car like on the way to a party or just you know just just like if you're getting together with friends and whatnot like um that's the type of thing that you would just get together with your friends and and just you know vibe and listen to and probably eat some ice cream and have some pizza and you know watch tv watch baseball football what, whatever the heck you want to do but um yeah, it's just one of it's just one of those par it, it, it it's a good party song in my opinion. It's a good party song. Um the next we got Gorkor, which he uh, I don't know. Um go well Gorkor has some bangers. This is one of those Roblox core artists that I was talking about earlier. So we got Gore Core, Kid Trash, No Scove, Dollywood, Rent Free. Um, so I listened to that. I, I have it in my playlist. Um, it, it's kind of like an emo Roblox core song. It, it, it's pretty dope for the most part. Uh, Oz Quinn. Or Quinn. With his song Bad Idea. Or her, whatever. Um, so, Quinn's song Bad Idea is. Pro is so. I, f funny story about that. Okay, I discovered that song while I was watching um, Meet the Fockers. What a weird, what a weird movie to discover a song. That's that that, that that's almost like saying the ocean is full of brown sugar. It, it's just weird. Um. Yeah, that that was, a, it, yeah, I found that song and it was interesting. And then I found the instrumental to it, and now I want to really rap over it. I really want to rap over this because it's I can really get because I can do I like I literally could do hype and pop like it, it's so easy to do. But like making a an actual hyper pop instrumental beat, that's where I would probably struggle the most because there's so many weird plugins that you've got to use, and and you got to mix the song in a certain way. Just it, it's just like very challenging. But like with me, I just experiment. I just listen to hyper pop songs, and that's how I get my ideas to experiment with sounds. And then I just basically make all these weird fusion genres um, that sound totally 
out of left field, per se. And I mean, I don't care if you say it's weird. I really don't. But that's just your opinion, and that's just your thought. And if you hate it, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm just out here trying to, like, you know, live my life and have fun with it sometimes. But, like, when it comes to an album, I really need to buckle down and get serious with it because I want my album to sound almost perfect in a sense because if it doesn't then it'll just ruin my whole day and everything is just you know, screwed up um, next thing I want to cover uh, next artist I want to cover uh, so we got Oh my gosh, Lost at Suki and Velo Fans. They're both trap metal artists and they're not as loud as Zerky. Zerky, oh my gosh, your music is so loud. But it's so fire at the same time. It is like the craziest. I've never heard so much distortion in my life. It is like the craziest amount of distortion. Like, like, at like some points in his beats, it'll go, do 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 do, like in like, I'm like, this is like crazy. Like, and then you got this dude. Uh, oh, gosh. I can't even say his name on, on, on this because I'm going to get my uh, YouTube channel taken down. I'm going to get, actually, I'm going to get the video taken down. So. Error and, uh,. H tie. I don't want to get banned. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to get banned because that would just suck. So those are the art, the few artists that I have. I'm probably gonna do a part two, and then just fuse the two together in the one episode. But now, um, I, actually, no. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Um. So we got those artists covered. Next, um, I want to take a moment to um, talk about Crueler Pond, or who is my cousin. So he is um, a. So he is one of those artists that you really want to expect to be an artist in a way. It's more of like an experimental producer type of thing. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna actually have him on an episode in the future. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm gonna have my sit possibly my sister and then my other cousins on it. So like the older cousins. Not like my younger ones, because I don't really I don't wanna expose them to like internet life yet. So ba basically if you're like thirteen to like my, up to my age within that ten year age demographic you can be on my podcast. Like like if you're old enough and responsible enough to sit down for like to sit down for like a couple hours and you're able to be mature about it and not like you know make fun of it because I want people to come on here and um, have like enough respect like and I want them to like respect me because like this is something that I've been planning for like 
eight years and um, I don't want it ruined by someone making about thinking this thinking I'm just doing this as a joke because this is not a joke no segment of this show in any way shape or form is a joke same thing goes with my music because the whole lo-fi thing basically introduced me to everywhere like the old old music that's what that's how I got into listening to all this old music is through lo-fi hip-hop and I'm gonna completely remaster the um, uh, be do thing so that will be I don't know probably around the summer during the black current season um, I don't know when that is but like whenever whenever black current berries are actually in season huh. it's kind of funny because I have a song series called black current and um, I'm gonna release it on the first day that that black current season starts Watch me release like Black Current 11 on the first day of the actual Black Current season. That would be awesome. Like, that would be like totally, totally awesome. Because not only that, but that would be the biggest coincidence ever. So, I mean, if you're responsible and mature enough to come on here then you will be allowed on the show. And you can either call in or actually be in the basement so I can physically interview people. And for the most part, if you're at least act actually scratch the 13 plus thing. That's stupid. Um... I'm gonna go with like 17 plus. Kind of like an R rate. Just just think of this podcast as being R rated, but it's not R rated. Cause I will because I will not permit any type of you know inappropriate sexual or any anything like that any 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 form of talk like that like that like that is not permitted on this show whatsoever so for for all my future guests you need to respect the boundaries of me and my staff and my show because once i have a staff once I eventually build up my staffing and I have like assistance and like audio and once I like when I hire ugh, I cannot speak tonight um, once I hire audio engineers and um, camera guys to live stream this I want everyone who is a guest on this show to respect me and to respect them. So, there's that. Now, I want to move on to an artist named Tizo Freakin' Touchdown. <laughs> okay, the thing with Tizo Touchdown is this dude is this dude is like weird. Like, I mean, when I say... Okay, uh, sorry for that um, little delay right there. My mom had to switch laundry, and so I'm going to go... I'm going to um, get back to what I was talking to... Talking about. So, um, I... So, I think Tizo... Tizo Touchdown is a pretty innovative artist for the most part. And he has... Music videos, which are just of him standing in front of a garage. I don't know whose garage that is. Is that his garage? Someone else's garage that he is renting? Or 
it's just some random abandoned garage in the middle of town. I don't know, but like he's got a song called Thank You, Rooting For You, um, Sucka. I mean, these songs are just weird. Like when 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 I say weird, I I mean like weird as hell weird. <laughs> Ugh, sorry about that. I'm gonna get something to drink. But um, yeah. So really, like. He was even featured on a Trippy Red freestyle and on Tyler the Creator's album, one of Ty- Tyler the Creator's albums. So I mean, if the, I, I, I really, I really see potential in this guy because um, he's been doing making music since like twenty six. He's been putting stuff out since like twenty sixteen. So I mean, he has plenty of potential. Like, I believe he has plenty of potential, and it is just incredible. I mean, he's like a total alien. This dude's an alien in, in like, the most goodest way possible. I know good enough is not a word, but just, just, just for the sake of the moment. Um, but just, it, it's like a good weird. Like, like what Tyler the Creator said, it's like a good weird. It's a good type of weird. And I, I don't know like what's gonna happen with him in the net in the next five to ten years, but I hope a lot of good stuff happens because this dude could do a t- like he can do so much with his music, and he has this whole weird this little movement thing called get the mead off the streets and I, I I have a hard time understanding what in the frick is mid is it like does it have something to do with like clout or just like something that's just like meh or just like crap or something I don't I don't know but um, yeah, it's weird. Like the song's like four minutes. It's literally just this like it's a whole like I don't know. It, it feels like his live performance his one live performance the, the heavy metal only live performance like during his tour (coughs) sorry about that like the whole thing like his whole concert I I feel like I'm watching a vacation Bible school show to be honest like a vacation Bible school show at my church like it, it, it feels weird it feels like I'm watching a like a, a Saturday morning or Sunday morning cartoon type of thing. It is absolutely the strangest. I mean, the strangest thing ever. Um, yeah. So that's Tizo Touchdown for you. Um, next, I want to talk about my upcoming album, Dolive. So, Dolliv, um, will be coming out sometime in, sometime this spring, probably late spring, because I still have songs to do for it. So, I'm gonna read off the track list. So, first we have Intro, then Dolliv, Dolliv 2, Orange Sprite Soda, Wii Sports is turned, Sun Dried Tomatoes, Garden Salsa, Italian Rum Punch, Olive Garden Breadsticks, which are which is a uh, Dolive's three, four, and five. Then we have Grass Types, Fiji Water on a Toyota Camry, Caterpillar Two, Opals in the Sunlight. Um. Then Arbeliva is my experimental waifu kawaii plant for the outro. 
that is Dolph. That is the Doll of album, and that will be um, coming to you coming to you live on Twitch, probably by the end of the by the end of the spring. That'll probably be my first Twitch live stream because I'm gonna have to go into the Twitch TV. I'm gonna have to go on the Twitch website and uh, click the click the drop down menu. So then it'll get me these creator tool options. Then I can like upload the album as a live album. But then it's just gonna go on YouTube like normal. So it'll it'll actually be live streamed on Twitch before it goes on SoundCloud and YouTube. So just stay tuned for that. I've covered a lot already within these uh, 50 minutes. It's almost, it's uh, currently 9.30 p.m. And um, there will be more episodes to come. So just stay tuned and just, you know, follow me on uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitch, TikTok. Um, but yeah, that will be another episode where I talk about social media, probably with my brother, um, because we may do an episode during the family weekend at, like, night, maybe, if we're not, like, going out places and buying stuff, if you catch my drift, um, but... Yeah, so just stay tuned for the featured episodes in the other seasons because it's going to be jam-packed with several other, like, I guess, you, like, several other, like, story arc type of episodes. So, like, we're going to do the weird sports arc in this season. Next season is going to be um, Wii Sports Season 3. Um, I can already tell you, I will already tell you that I am also proud to announce the season three episodes. Season three, episode one, a new beginning. 2025 sign off. It's all in the tarot cards. Far future of the blue boat gangs, season three, episode four. Season three, episode five is Gem Market Expedition. Season three, episode six, Artist to Watch Two. Season three, episode seven, Roundtable Discussion Part Four. Season three, episode eight, will be a discussion about a Shred the Nard Channel remake, or in the song. Season 3, Episode 9, What the Heck Are Cyber Glider Shoes? Season 3, Episode 10, Futuristic Concept Cars, where we talk about just futuristic concept cars. Season 3, Episode 11, Generation 10, Leaks and Rumors Discussion Part 1. Season 3, Episode 12, Generation 10, Leaks and Rumors Discussion Part 2. Season 3, Episode 13, Generation... 10 Leaks and Rumors Discussion Part 3. So that's Season 3. That's half of Season 3. So we are getting close to the end of this episode. So I will be signing off here. And um, I will see you guys in Episode 6 probably in the next few days. So with that being said, my name is Snitchy. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of 95.7 The Talk. And I will see you guys next time. Smash the like button and leave a comment and subscribe and turn on the...